Hello friends, this video on principles of inheritance part 28 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let us try to find out how the linked genes give a dihybrid ratio of 3 is to 1. So for that purpose, let us consider that we have a chromosome here where we have two genes A and B and the, this represent the homologous pair of chromosome with the counterparts of the gene. So we say that A and B are linked and A and B are again linked. So with this idea in mind, let us try to do a dihybrid cross. So for that, we should have a parental generation. So let us suppose we cross a homozygous, two homozygous parents, AABB with AABB. So this is what we cross. So what are the gametes that can be produced from this AB? What are the gametes that can be produced from this AB? And they both will combine to form the F1 generation which will be AABB and this is going to be heterozygous. So now the most important question that what are the gametes that can be form, produced by this? So this can form only two gametes that is capital A, capital B and small a, small b. That's because now they are linked. So A will combine only with B. Again small a will combine only with small b. So capital A cannot combine with small b. Similarly small a cannot combine with capital B. So these are the only possible gametes. Now when we self-pollinate or we, when we cross the F1 generations amongst themselves. So that is we cross it with another AABB. So what happens again this also produces the same gametes. So now what would be the F2 generation? So for F2 generation this can combine with this or this can combine with this or this can combine with this or this can combine with this. These are the only possibilities right. So what would be the output? You can get either ABAB or you can get ABAB or you can get ABAB or ABAB, right? So now if you look at their phenotypes, now this is going to be AB because all the dominant traits are present. So even this is going to be thus of the same phenotype because you have the dominant traits this is also going to be of the same phenotypes but this has all the recessive traits so this is going to be different so what is going to be the phenotypic ratio so the phenotypic ratio in this case that is the ratio of dominant is to recessive so the dominant is to recessive ratio in this case is going to be 3 is to 1 because this this and this they are all going to be dominant because the dominant traits the dominant allele of both the traits are present here and this is going to be recessive. So this is 1. So 3 is to 1 dihybrid ratio is obtained with linked genes. But if had it not been a linked gene, in that case you would have got two more gametes here. So when you get two more gametes, what happens? You get more combinations. So when you get more combinations, your F2 generation output also changes. Now similarly, let us try to perform a test cross. What is a test cross? So a test cross is nothing but a cross between a heterozygous and a homozygous recessive. So what is heterozygous? So heterozygous would be something like what we got in the F1 generation. So this is basically a heterozygous. So we take a heterozygous and then we cross it with a homozygous recessive. So homozygous recessive would be something like this. So what would be the possible gametes in this case? So let us try to find out. Here there will be two possible gametes that is AB and AB. Again you cannot get more gametes because they are linked. In this case just one gamete is possible and that is AB. So what are the possible combinations that you can get as a result of this test cross? Just two types of combination. One is AB, AB. And the other one is AB, AB, right? So now, if you look at it, you will see that this is dominant and this is recessive. So there is 50% chance that it will be like this. There is 50% chance that it will be like this, the recessive one. So basically, both of them exactly resemble the parent. So if you see, this exactly resemble the parents whether you talk about the phenotype or the genotype. Similarly, this exactly resembles the parents. So what is the test cross ratio that you obtain? So the test cross ratio here is 1 is to 1. And what do you see here? Here you only get parental phenotypes 
and there is no recombinants. So you do not see any recombinants in this case. Correct. So if you talk about the first dihybrid cross also there also if you see the phenotypes and the in terms of the phenotypes it is all parental the same parental phenotypes however the genotype you get an additional genotype that is ABAB so this is the additional genotype but otherwise they are all the parental phenotypes and in this case the phenotype as well as the genotype both phenotype ratio genotype ratio is 1 is to 1 and you see only the parental combinations being formed in the offspring and there is no recombinants being formed. So whenever we talk about linkage we see that what happens is whenever the genes tend to get linked the possibility of getting recombinations reduce. Because when the genes are linked, they will always get inherited together. So you tend to get the same parental combinations over the generations. So the chances of having recombinants becomes less. Thank you. Please visit www.examclear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.